Tennessee Titans get a win over the Browns here in Cleveland. I'm Amy Wells, joined by Jim Wyatt. Jim, an overtime game came down to a field goal to win the game by Ryan Suckup. How did this Titans team dig down and find a way to win today? Well, they just kind of survived. And, uh, you know, just listening through the door leading to the locker room, you could tell guys are excited about this one. This is one you celebrate because you get to the bye week at four and three. It doesn't matter how it looked. All that matters is to win. Titans struggled, you know, certainly on offense. The defense saved them during several parts of the game. And, of course, Ryan suck up saving for the end with a 47-yard field goal. Now this team's got something to be happy about going into the bye. One of the biggest players of the game that everyone's talking about is Kevin Byard. Three interceptions today. How rare is it for a player to have a day like he had today? Well, you have to go all the way back to 2007 to find another Titan that had three interceptions in a game. That was another guy with the initials KB, Keith Bullock. This time it's Kevin Byard. This team had to have it. I think Kevin Byard's getting better each week. He's anticipating plays. He studies more. He's turning into a game changer for this team. What's one of the biggest areas of improvement that you notice in this team? Well, I just think the, the defense mentality, I think, is what saved it for him at the end. This team has a lot of work to do on offense. I mean, the red zone issues have really kept this from being a game. There was one point where the Titans had the ball first and goal with the one and could not get the ball in the end zone with the defense. Kept a minute. Yeah, they gave up some plays, but they kind of rose to the occasion when it mattered. When overtime started, they got stops, kept giving the ball back to the offense. And again, Titans won the game. What can this team do to improve on that red zone issue? Well, I think getting a guy like Corey Davis back is going to help. You know, getting a healthy Marcus Mariota back is going to help. It's kind of hard to understand, really, because this is one of the best teams in the league last year in, in red zone offense. We're the best team in the league. And uh, for now to have so many issues, it's hard to really explain. I don't think it's one thing. Sometimes it's just not executing. Uh, sometimes it's just not beating your man up front. But it's certainly got to change. All right, the Titans have a bye week now. How important is that week of rest and reflection, as Coach Malarkey said, going to be to this team? It's big because you got Marcus Mariota, who's been less than 100% going to have time to recover. You've got Delaney Walker, who's now dealing with an ankle injury. We'll have to find out more moving forward about his condition. Corey Davis, Jonathan Cyprian, a couple of guys who've been out for a significant amount of time, they've got a chance to come back. So it's the time to, to rest recover and kind of get set for uh, the final nine games of the season with the first two being at Nissan Stadium. All right, well, the Titans are going to go back to Nashville. They're going to have a week off for the bye week, and then it's right back to work getting ready for the Baltimore Ravens. For TitansOnline.com, he's Jim White. I'm Amy Wells, and this is What Just Happened.